Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and stay a while. I do videos most days on paper crafting tips, tricks, tutorials, flip throughs, and mostly focusing on junk journals. And I'm trying to make sure my background doesn't fall. Okay, so I have a garden journal to share with you today and I can't wait to do the flip through and I'm going to give you some tips along the way and some things I did in this journal that I think might help you in your junk journal. This is a soft cover. I just used a single sheet of um, cardstock. It's not lined because it's just a yellow. I made it bright and cheery. So this is one of my themed journals on my Etsy shop. I'll just leave the link below so you can go to my shop. Um, I have several different themes that I offer in this size. This is a nine by six, 60 pages. And this one is garden themed. And I'm using a kit called Fresh Garden by Calico Collage. One of my favorite garden kits. I absolutely adore it. So if you order a garden one, it may be using this kit. Um, I have another amazing garden kit by Sherry over at Studio 28E, as well as many, many gardening books and other things. So it will be a surprise what you'll get. Okay, so um, what I did here was some stitching. I think these look like strawberry leaves. And so that's why I added that. And then I decided to do, do something a little different and put a giant tag on the front. And it is glued down and it says here to be preserved, which makes me think of taking the berries and making jams and things like that. There are some strawberries in this giant tag. And then I just added a button and some lace. On the back, I added this quote from the kit. We might think we are nurturing our garden, but of course it's our garden that is really nurturing us. And then this is a little leaf that's sewn in there, a little uh, fabric leaf. And um, let's get right into it. So I love how she has little critters and this is a snail. So I added that in the front and then the sticker that says happiness. I added different stickers throughout and I love word stickers because it just kind of gives you a feel. Words are very powerful. Um, it says that a you know, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, but to me, I also sometimes feel that a word is worth a thousand pictures. I think it goes both ways because when you hear the word simple, you can have a thousand pictures flood through your mind of what that means. And to me, simple in gardening, I don't, doesn't mean gardening is always simple, but it's like a simple life when you're out there and you don't have to worry about the cares of the world. Anyway, so a little tip, these word stickers have a clear back to them. And um, I got them in some Happy Mail. I don't know where, but I'm sure that if you go to Michael's Hobby Lobby or even you search online, they just have a clear back. So I can put them on any background and you can't see anything but the words. So it kind of looks like the words are stamped or typed on it. So that's a tip. Um, another tip is the inking that I did on this. I decided to not cut these pages down. My printer does not have borderless printing. And so it prints a little bit of a white border that I normally cut down, but I wanted all my pages to pretty much be the same size. And so um, it printed very evenly. So I decided to ink. And on one side, I took brushed corduroy distress ink and I inked that to give it kind of a vintage feel. And then on the other side, I used two different, two or three different colors that I thought coordinated. And I just quickly went around and then added bits of color and you'll be see different smudges of ink throughout because I was working on a, like a tempered glass cutting board and I just allowed that ink to pick up on the pages just to add more um, texture design to it. I love the pages. Um, they really stand on their own in this kit. There's space for writing, but they really speak. So here's another giant tag and I just backed it with some graph paper. So you could either plot out a little garden design um, like, you know, where you're going to plant things, or you can just write on it. And then here's a little tag with a die cut and a little uh, rhinestone. And then a little wheelbarrow and some lace, coffee dyed paper. And then again, I'm adding stickers throughout. For the bigger labels, I love the labels in this kit. You can, you know, label what you'd like. So here's a journal card from the kit and I added Enchant. I backed that with graph paper as well. And then there's a little piece of ephemera. I added some lace here and tip and trick there because I just want to give you lots of my tips and tricks throughout this journal is just a line of hot glue and then put it down. It holds it very tight. You don't have to worry about stitching. I did it after the book was already put together. Super easy. Here's a garden uh, page from a garden book and I just added a little button and a tab. And again, I did not sew the button through this. I just put the um, string through the button and then hot glued the button onto the tab. 
So here's basil. And then I noticed this said August, the month of August. And since August is coming up fairly soon, I thought that maybe she'd like to use this in the month of August. But regardless, um, here's one of the pockets from the kit. And then I just added a tag and an index card. And one of the labels from the kit and a little butter or butterfly ladybug from the kit. Another thing that's fun when you have these big pages is to just add little bits of lace. I like to do a zigzag and then hot glue it on. That really gives something for the glue to grab onto. And see all the brown smudging throughout? That's from the inking and then it picking it up from the tempered glass I was working on. This is a very sheer piece of kind of scarf fabric that I got from Angie Robbins over at Color Tree Creations. She took apart a five below rug and sent me some pieces and I just stitched it and glued it here so it kind of flips. Um, I just thought it was really delicate and pretty. And then here's a label stamp, a little journal card backed. Well, it's not backed, it's just stitched. Beautiful, beautiful pages in this journal. One of my favorite pages with the fruit song. Okay, this is a bag I had gotten from Junk That Treasures back when she was still um, running her shop on Etsy. And I just glued it to this coffee dyed paper so you can journal here. And then um, you could put a picture here. And then you can journal on this Rolodex card. I added a um, watering can from the kit. And then I added two more Rolodex cards with some stamping. And then a vintage um, flat floral uh, photo slide. It has pink flowers in that. Oh, and then inside you can tuck something all the way through into here, but I just put something here in the front. It says making magic. And this was just from a cut apart from one of those paper pads from Michaels. This is a, like a belly band from the kit that I just stitched into two pockets so I could add some journaling cards that came um, with the kit. I just stitched some paper onto the back. This is a garden page, fruit trees, nut trees, and other fruits. And so I added that, some journal note papers from the kit that I clipped on. This is more of that fabric from that rug that Angie sent me and I just zigzagged and hot glued to the edge. Got this in some happy mail. Um, it looks like a little garden with a heart and so I added that on here with a little ticket. More book paging, paging, book paging. Here's a little dragonfly um, die cut that I just hot glued there and then there is a little glass scene bag clipped on there and there's a Tim Holtz dog die cut and a little die cut that says smile inside the bag. I'm not going to take the paper clip off because I don't have to struggle putting it back on. It's a little Project Life card. Gorgeous journaling spots. Some little stickers. Some little, this is cherry pink prints and then I just did a ladybug stamp and then Tim Holtz by the goodness of my heart. I backed that with just some ivory cardstock, so that is really sturdy. And then a little, like a little journal card cut apart that says, well, hello, and I added some leaf stitching. And then some more stickers. This is a giant, I love this size index card. I stamped some wheat on it, inked it up, and then just clipped it on for lots of extra journaling space. This is a little envelope from the kit, a little piece of ribbon that is stitched and then glued to this page for texture see inking left from the tempered glass plate book page and I just did like an apple pocket you can tuck pictures or journal cards or extra things in there and then I just glued this journal card and some lace on this page some more ladybug stamping and I want to point out the inking here again I used green and purple I used the seedless preserves by Tim Holtz and then just a stampabilities mini ink pad in green and I just kind of did it all around the edge I just think it adds kind of an art journal type feel to it this is a little part of that paper that was part of that belly band wherever it was right here because it was too long for the page and I did some leaf stitching and just attached it there and then um, Ying Ya sent me some like flower sticker punch out Yay. sort of things. And so I made a flower there, added taste right there and peace. And then in the back, this is like <laughs> my two year olds talking to me down here, added a little garden paper that has like gardening tips. And this is about chrysanthemums and late bloomers. So I just clipped that page on the back. So I hope that 
its new recipient loves it and I have many more garden journals that I can make. I bought so many books on gardening to use for junk journals. So order away and I will get those out to you as soon as I can. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and stay well.